Okay, now we're going to do the words up and down. Well, up, we'll start with up. First of all, the simplest way to draw it would be like so. That works. Um, you should leave a little space or somehow make clear. When, with the P, remember the difference in the P and the U is the P is attached onto a word line. When you actually just draw that portion like so, you have to be careful. It might look like a U. You have to extend up out of there or out of there. Either way, you'll make it clear that it's hanging off the side of the line, not, not a U itself. So, what can we do to connect it? Well, there's some double connections we can use. So, we could connect it like so. As you see, we're basically just moving it upwards a little. It doesn't look very nice. I didn't draw it very well. The idea would be, sorry, come make everything, make all the angles even. And you'd get a nice little shape like so. You could even pull it up higher. So there's one option. Now, my favorite UP combination is like so. Very simply, you divide the U into half. And you've got your P over here. And you've even got space to start working with further combinations. And you can even... This space here is reserved for before the P. So if you needed to go U, D, P, for example, you could then draw a D inside of here, or other characters. Well, U, D, P is a good example, actually, but you get the idea. So you've got space for here before the P and here after the P. It is a beautiful combination to work with. So uh, up is very simply like so. That's my favorite version. You don't even have to lift the pen a single time to finish drawing it. Now let's look at down. It even kind of... If, looks like it's going up. It does. It points down, but the shape gets stronger as it goes up, so I'll count that as up. Kind of being creative, you can take it either way, so it's not really that impressive, actually. So, down, D, O, W. Well, W is easiest to connect like so. And then end. And that really does kind of give you a downward flow, very nice in its original form. Now, these dashes don't have to be connected to the O. They can be separate out like that, and they can be any kind of way you want. You whichever way they can even be reduced maybe to even dots but I have reserved dots so that people can start adding punctuation and uh, accents if they like so they should clearly be made into lines what else do we have for options well um, we can draw into the O so we could put the W inside of the O or we could always use this kind of W and then we could add an N here so we've got down um, the end can be added into other directions if you like, but when you're dealing with a down, you're obviously going to want it there. Uh, the other things you could do is you could put like the W on the side and the end there. Uh, there's various options to work with. But I would say the best option, well, there's one more big one. You can put everything inside of the O. So you could go down. That's actually not that bad. Again, it gives you that downward flow. But I would say the best choice is probably... Like so. Gives you a great character. Now you just have to, I mean, you don't draw that too wide as I did there, but you got a great down. And here's up. And the last stroke of the up is actually a line moving straight up if you do it in that way, which is great because it gives you that upwards feeling. And this one, the last stroke carries down. So the, the last stroke of each character does end in the correct direction.